they came out in the streets of Nairobi, their numbers though negligible, causing a social media buzz. Kenya has been earmarked alongside the UK, Italy, Sweden and Chile to take part in a birth control study in which men will be required to take the contraceptive pill once a month. Developed by the National Institute of Child Health and Human Development in the United States, the pill aims at increasing contraceptive prevalence usage among men. But the notion of a male contraceptive eliciting mixed emotion. Na tukitumia family planning. Railo Dinga Wakesho atakuwa nani? Cornel Rasangamoth governor wa Sierra atakuwa nani kesho? Na mimi ningependa kusema hata kwa wanaume mpango ya uzazi ni mzuri sana tena inastahili tumekataa kabisa hiyo dawa sisi hatuwezi tumia hiyo Kenya has been on an ongoing treadmill of population control having first introduced family planning methods in 1967 contraceptive pills gained ground in 2004 amidst mixed reaction from both men and women a study released in 2017 indicated that fertility rates have decreased from an average of 8 children per woman in 1978 to 4. Even then, Kenya's population is expected to rise from the current 48 million to about 85 million by 2050, posing a headache to development planners amid waning resources. Experts say the male contraceptive concept requires collective effort from across both genders in order to achieve the desired 70% contraceptive prevalence rates. We need to start having conversations around uh, demystifying the gender norms because there is a myth generally that only contraceptions is only for f- f- women. So that is where we need to start. The pill which is yet to be introduced in the country reduces sperm count within 72 hours reducing the probability of conception the pilot study will run for 4 years male contraception now seeming to receive some positive attention from the male side the bigger question lies in the moral implication of exposing the young generation to the pill Laurel Teno Citizen TV Nairobi